Corneal ring, the new generation. Surgical technique. Ask the patient to look at the microscope light. Using the Sinsky hook, mark the light reflex in the corner. Consider the visual axis, not the pupil center. The double marker has to be inked with gentian violet using a marking pen. Dry the epithelial surface using cellular sponges to make precise marks. Then, mark the tunnelization zone and the steepest meridian centering the double marker at the deep-tilized spot created on the first step. Use a pachymeter to measure the corneal thickness at the incision site at least three times and consider the mean value. Also, it is important to measure corneal thickness throughout the segment insertion zone to verify if there is any thinness which contraindicates surgery. Make the incision right on the steepest meridian. Calibrate the surgical knife blade to zero micro. Check the blade on the microscope to assure the correct zero position. Now, adjust the blade size to 75% of the corneal thickness at the incision site. Hold the eye still using a crema forceps, which shall be attached next to the limbus. The diamond blade touches the corneal surface at a right angle, softly. Make the incision with repeated and small radial movements. The blade penetrates into the cornea until blocked by the stopper. You don't need to use force, just seesaw movements. Insert the pre-delaminator until the bottom of the incision. With a mild rotatory movement from side to side, open a small pocket towards the planet tunnel. Introduce the tip of the Suarez spreader vertically into the incision. Change the inclination to horizontal to enlarge the pocket created in the previous step. Rotatory movements help its progression. It is very important to keep the correct pocket depth. Introduce the guide vertically into the incision. Tilt the guide towards the horizontal position until it gets into the pocket. Introduce the channel dissector under the guide. Remove the guide. Hold the eye using the Kramer forceps. Turn the dissector slowly. Make sure the tunnel stays exactly inside the tunnelization zone marked on the cornea. Do not force the dissector up or down. Don't tilt the dissector along the way. Remove the corneal ring from its case using a modified McPherson forceps. Leave the ring on the cornea, observing that its steepest side be put upwards. Hold the segment with the modified McPherson forceps at its middle portion. Introduce the guide approximately 3 mm inside the tunnel. Insert the ring into the tunnel under the guide.
remove the guide without releasing the segment. With short movements, insert the segment into the tunnel, leaving only its tip and hole still outside. Insert the Sinsky tip inside the ring hole and push it into the tunnel. The ring ends have to be positioned at the same distance from the steepest meridian and at least one millimeter away from the incision. When implanting two segments, one just have to make the same procedure at the counterpart side. At the slit lamp, verify the correct ring depth and position. The result is a more regular and flatter cornea with clearer vision.